Okay. No background noises. Now. Okay, I have 23 images all together. Vase with nine sunflowers. Well, there was, there's a lot of great images here. I'm not, I won't say I recognise them all, um, um, old masters, and some of them have got a modern twist as well. But um, they're all very good. And um, this particular one we're starting with, um, obviously, well, I say obviously, but I'm thinking this is Van Gogh. Um, or Van Ock, however you want to pronounce it. Sunflowers, he done various numbers in a vase, nine in a vase, 12 in a vase. And um, this is, well, apart from the fact it's a glass vase instead of an earthenware one, uh, it's quite true to um, one of his renditions. It, someone's had some fun with the liquify tool by the looks of it. But it, it works. It's it's of his style. So um, bright yellow, green, uh, wavy line um, on the between the uh, counter that it's on and the background, which is that is how Van Gogh painted some of these. So yeah, what's what's not to like really? Um, bright, colourful, and um, a a, a modern take on an old master like the um, petals down the bottom I think they actually add um, something to this image are we allowed to make comments as we're going along if you wish. I'm just saying I agree with your comments I think I think it's um I think it's definitely a Van Gogh there's no two ways about it are we voting then yes yep Okay, is everybody finished? Oh, you're muted, can't tell me. I'm gonna guess that everybody who's voting has voted apart from me. There we go. Share the results, there we go. So that's 86.7% said yes, that should go through. So next image. Mm. Hang on, I feel like I've got to put a score on here. Yep. No, alt tab. Should do it. Okay. Yeah. Bowl of fruit. Yeah, bowls of fruit, still lives. Um, a, a staple of old masters. If you look at... Um, um, if you Google old masters, you'll see loads and loads of um, bowls of fruit and still lives. Everything, <laughs> is, everything is in your control with, with still lives. And this is rather a pleasing image. The, I, I like the background, to be honest. And, and I'm wondering if, if the background couldn't have been used as a texture over the whole 
uh, image to give it a sort of painterly look. Uh, I mean, it fulfills a criteria. It is a still life, and old masters were um, uh, known for still life, as I say. Uh, however, it, it, it seems to, to me just lacks that bit of gravitas, you know, um, a lot of these still lives were dark and moody and, 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 and had lots of texture to them. But um, that said, it, it's, it's a retake of an old master, so this is a modern day one. Um, the, the, the way you've positioned the fruit is nice. I like the stalk with the apple. Um, that, that, that has a big impact rather than not having a stalk there at all. And the odd um, orange outside the... Um, outside the bowl it uh, just adds a bit of a counterpoint to the the bowl of fruit so yeah a, a, a modern take on an old master my comment is that i don't know what old master i'm looking at I, i'm not seeing any kind of style here that's my my one criticism it's, it's nothing wrong with the picture it's just i i can't say look at that and say oh that's a so-and-so no no I, I i couldn't either but then again i'm i'm not I, i'm not 100 percent au fait with um uh, uh, you know, art in general. So I, I no have said who's done this in the future. Some of them I can, I can, um, I'll be out of recall. <clears throat> okay, so I think that's everybody has voted. So zero. Give it one. Yeah. Sophie with a pearl earring. Oh, now this one I recognise. Um, it, it's a modern make of um, the the girl with the pearl pearl, pearl earring, and um, by Vermeer. Um, and from what I can remember of the picture, it, it's actually quite true to the old master. Um, the, the, the pose is the same. You, you, you have that youngish face um, looking at an angle. The, the eyes are looking straight at the painter or the photographer in this case. And you can see the, the pearly earring um, it, it has been given some prominence. The headscarf is, is slightly different to Vermeer, but um, again, it's, it's a modern take on an old master. I, I do like the um, texture that's been put over this. Um, it's been put over the whole image, uh, as you can see from the shoulder and the headscarf, but it's been masked out um, over the important parts of the face, the eyes and the lips. Uh, it's still some of the texture on the cheeks, but it does give it a painterly feel. I like the vignette. vignette. Uh, again, this is my take or my thoughts of an old master. They are dark and around the edges, or a lot of, lot of them are. Um, so, yes, um, a good rendition of the girl with the pearl earring. Next picture. Oh, oh. Now, I don't know this one, don't know who it's by, but it is in the style of an old master. Um, you can see that dark vignette in and, and the textured overlay, which is, it, it, it does add something, it, it does make it look uh, like a painting, this textured overlay. Um, it, um, to, it, to be honest, it looks as if it's a, a, a painted wall or painted canvas, or or it could even be a painting itself, which has been overlaid, and it's been done very nicely. Um, 
the subject matter is excellent. I, I, I don't know, you may have got a model in specifically for this, or it may be from one of these reenactment days, but whatever. Um, I like the textures in this and the, the way you've um, presented it and, and rendered it. Perhaps someone could tell me actually who it's by because um, that will be interesting. No, no one knows who it's by. No, I'm afraid no. I don't have any idea, but it, it does work. Yeah, I don't, I don't mean the author tonight. I meant the original author, the painter. in Turner-esque Yeah, lovely, lovely Turner-esque um, uh, style. Um, yeah, I, like, I do like this one. Uh, the, the, the stag you can make out as it is through the morning mist. You have this, Turner was well known for his uh, sunsets and uh, oranges and yellows and uh, magenta hues in the sky uh, and this has got it all uh, it's very swirly very painterly and it, it it does have that painterly effect I do like the um, in the top left hand corner at, at, at the very edge this sort of feeling of the sun just creeping in it's a lot lot whiter up there and normally um, people would say oh it's a white spot near the edge of your uh, frame it takes the takes your eye away but in this case it it is turner-esque and that's how we used to do it so yeah what's not to like about this one making yeah there's another still life here um rather like the uh, the fruit at the beginning and again a staple of old masters um it is very nicely done again we must um we must remember that um this is a, a retake of an old master so um again i i I think it probably would have been darker in mood and and more textured. But however, it, it is a retake of an old master, so we we have to look beyond that. And I do like the colour combinations that you know the green bars, the yellows, the oranges, and the, the magentas. There, they all sort of work very well. Um, I, I I really can't think of anything. I like the um, like the key line and the and the actual overspill of the back canvas i think that works in this case um i don't know what i'm looking at my screen it could be a bit darker but the, the center point looks a bit bright to me on the background but um having said that it's a very pleasing image again i don't know who this would be by the original but um Next image. Oh, Ophelia. 
Oh uh, yes, um, I, I've I've heard of this one, and um, I, I seem to be able to recall it in in my mind's eye um, as as a as a classic painting. Um, again, a modern take on it, and um, yeah, really, really quite amusing. Um, uh, it's it's got all the elef all the elements that um, I oh, just really trying to recall this in my mind's eye. But um, I, I, mean, I think it's got all the elements of um, uh, of the original painting there. Uh, again, no no form of texture on it. But um, uh, again, we mustn't uh, we mustn't forget that this is a a, a modern retake. So uh, this is someone's. Um, so if, whether, if you've gone to the trouble to to make this pool to put this um, doll in, well done. Um, uh, if you haven't, then oh, I, hope, I hope no fish or wildlife was harmed in the taking of this picture. But um, yeah, well laid out and uh, I, someone perhaps can remind me who, who the author was. I think the, it was Millet. I think it was, it was either Millet or Rossetti. It was one of the pre -Raphaelites. I think it was Millet. Is it? all oh, right, yeah. So I, mean, I think I can picture the original, but yes, very well done, very well done. Image. Let me mark it straight away. <clears throat> Discovered Picasso. Yeah, I, I, I like this one when it came on the screen. It's a very, very in, inventive. I mean, whether whether Picasso would be classed as an old master, I don't know. He's quite a modern painter, but nonetheless, nonetheless, this is a really good attempt. Um, at recreating, um, and not, not necessarily an old master that is up for debate, but you've recreated um, a, a famous painter, basically. And I, I, it, it is just so Picasso-like. It's, um, it's unbelievable, really, this, this um, eyes and nose facing two ways, typical of the painter. Um, the colours as well. Um, they're all sort of rather garish and uh, uh, look as if they've been put in on Photoshop. But that's the, the way to do it, isn't it? You know, you you, you put the paint daubs on and uh, you've made something out of nothing. So, um, yes, I'm, I am liking this one. I'm, I'm actually look, second uh, looking at it again. I think is is that a polystyrene head that you've um, had fun with? I think it may be. It certainly looks that way. Yeah, it's, that's a really good, really good effort. Created a bit of artwork in itself. Bread and cheese. Yeah, another still life here, and um, you know, like many of you, I I, I, did a, I did a Google search on old masters just to see what uh, come up, and this sort of image was was one of the ones that come up. Again, I like the textured background. Um, I, I think that works well, um, but I, I am going to repeat myself again here. I I, I think you could have. Uh, use the background again and put it over the image to, to give that textured painterly feel and um it would have made it look much more like an like a painting if 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 you understand what i mean i do like the elements though um you've got all the right elements in <coughs> yeah, the, the the texture and detail in the bread is and the cheese is just lovely so your camera work has 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 really paid off here you've got that texture it's not flat it is very three-dimensional would i have liked to have seen the whole of the board and had some of this background underneath it i i, I think perhaps i would 
Um, and, and again, I, I, looking at some of these old masters on Google to get my inspiration, I think that, uh, you know, I would have vignetted the edges and darkened the whole image down um, somewhat. However, that said, it is a retake of an old master, and I think you've done exceptionally well here uh, with the textures, the sharpness, um, and the placement of your still life. So well done. After Gordon Costa, so something. <laughs> you know, I, I, I have to confess to, to not knowing this, so um, I will have to take it as as I've seen it. Uh, pre presumably, this um, um, this painter or a photographer, I don't know, um, presented things in half negative, and um, um, the eye is positive. Obviously, the the left eye or the right eye as we look at it, um, but, but the rest appears to be in, in negative. So, or, or this, this half, this half perhaps, yeah, the, as you look at it, the right hand side is positive, the left hand side is negative. So um, whether this was a feature of this author's work, I don't know. Uh, I'm not familiar with it. Having said that, Having said that, though, it does give a, a very surreal effect um, with this positive negative uh, outlook. Um, I, yeah, if I tilt my screen back, it, you, you get a bit more texture and a bit more depth to it. Um, but yeah, um, I, I, don't, I don't know the painting, so I can't say, I can't say whether it's a, a, a good remake or not, but it is very pleasing. <coughs> Laughing Cavalier by Franz Holtz. Yeah, I've heard of the Laughing Cavalier. And um, yeah, it's a lovely, lovely laugh to this uh, young lady. Um, I, one supposes they're probably doing a selfie of each other and it's not come out right or it's come out quite amusingly and um, they are having a bit of a laugh about it, or she's having a bit of a laugh about it. Um, yeah, it's, it, it has that same jolly um, feeling that, that the Laughing Cavalier um, gives you. The, the author has chosen to present it in black and white, which I think works. Um, it's, it's good street photography as, as, as much as anything, to be honest with you. Um, and there's nothing really to distract you. I think, I think it, perhaps it's a t the top left is a bit bright. And I, I, I think you once you could have darkened that down, and, and you would have, you know, even with a vignette, and you'd have put a lot more attention on the the faces, or even perhaps a tighter crop. <clears throat> but this particular competition, I mean, I do like as it is as a as a good example of street photography. But perhaps a tighter crop just round. Um, just coming down over the shoulder bag of the lady on the right, across underneath her hands, uh, include the elbow of the young lady who's laughing and across the top, but darken the thing. Would, would it just make the image come to you a bit more? But um, yeah, a good a, a modern take on, on, on an old classic.
wasn't very comfortable. Yeah, a, a, a very pleasing image. All you need is a wagon in the water there, and um, it, it would be indistinguishable from the um, from the original. Um, everything's there. It's it's well, as you know, I I, I would suspect that many of us have, have, have been to um, this location, Woolly Lops Cottage, and and taken. I, I've been there and I've tried to get this image, but I I, I, I haven't got one as successful as this. Um, you, you seem to have got the right focal length here. Uh, you've got interest in the sky, although it's a little, it's a little bright, it's a little burnt out uh, on the top right. Um, I don't know whether you took it in raw and can get more detail out, but that somewhat lets the picture down just a little bit. But ignoring that, I mean, even even a crop off would um, would help that. Um, but having said that, the, the focus is on Woolly Lots Cottage and it being a constable. And it, without without using a texturizer um, overlay, which I've, I've said in some others, you've managed to create an awful lot of texture within this image w w without doing that. Um, all, all along the cow parsley um, on, on the left hand side there, there's, and the, and the reeds at the bottom there's there's real texture going all the way around the picture and even on the right hand side with the trees and it, it, the whole seems to draw you into into the cottage i find this a very pleasing image i just think uh, in, in my own humble opinion of course let down by the sky being so bright and lack of detail if it's only on my screen, I apologise. But I've, I've tried tilting my screen back and, and forward, and it is I, I can't see any detail on it. So I, I mean, cropped off to the top of the tree in the centre, I think would have improved it slightly. Um, but if it's a raw file and you've got detail in that sky, um, and you can bring it out, then then do so. But um, yeah, as I, I I like this one. It's a very pleasing image. Harvest by Van Gogh. Yeah, I can't bring this one to mind, but presumably um, they were in the fields in those days with um, uh, with scythes and sickles. And um, but, however, the modern day equivalent is a combine harvester and a tractor. So it's it's still the same scene, but just done in a different way. Um, Rendered in black and white, um, which again is the author's choice. I, I don't know what would have prevented you from rendering it in colour, other than personal <laughs> preference, and you wanted it in in black and white, of course. Um, I, I find that, that on my screen here, I find something seems to be something strange going on with the clouds. Um, if that's natural, that is a bit of a phenomenon there, um, right across the top. It, it, it looks very strange. And um, um, as I say, if it was there, it was there. And you can't do anything about it. But um, on my screen, it does, it does look rather strange. But I do like the, I do like the rendition. It's a, it's, a, it's a modern take on an, an old master. So um, well done. I, I think I probably would have made it more of a letterbox um, with that sky. Um, as I say, I don't know if what's gone wrong, if anything's gone wrong, it may be completely natural, but it, it, it does, my eye keeps going to it. And so I, I probably would have shaved quite a bit of that sky off.
lady of the mask. Yeah, again, I can't recall the original, but um, I, I feel as if I'm looking at a modern old master here because um, I think this is very, very clever. Um, I, I, I love the um, I love the background and the uh, and, and the actual um, painting. I mean, uh, whether you've actually photographed the photographed the original painting and, and put a mask on it. To, to make the um, modern day equivalent, I don't know. I don't really care because I like it. It, it, it's, uh, it is, it sums up 2020 to date so far. Um, it could be a model from um, one of these reenactment days and you've um, put it on a background. Um, again, I don't, I, don't, I don't mind, it doesn't matter. The overall effect is, is what um, counts. And this has it in, in, in buckets. Uh, um, I, I find the arm a little close to the edge, but again, if if, if it's that, if it's like that on the original painting, then then so be it. But I really do like the addition of the modern day COVID mask, um, which sums up 2020. So well done for that. Monet water lilies. Yes, uh, I think we are all familiar with uh, the, the water lilies. Um, was it was the Giverny, um, um, where Monet used to live and work. And yeah, I, I like the treatment this has been given. It, it, it's um, very ethereal. Um, I, I, I suspect it's been given a white um, overlay and then you, you've just reduced the opacity and it, it, it does make it softer. It, it, it does have some sort of a sort of um, ethereal look that's been brought to it. Um, and I think it I think it works, to be honest. You've still got detail in the in the flowers and you can still see the well, what looks like water droplets on them. So this is the detail and the sharpness are, are, are second to none. Um, I would personally um, I would have on the left hand side as you look at it there is a, there is just a slight bit of petal encroaching on that lily pad now I don't mind the lily pad being cut in half but the the, the, the petal I think you should have cloned out it would clean the image up no end um, it's a very pleasing image in any case but I hope you can see what what I mean take that petal out and it just becomes a lily pad and it actually improves the image an awful lot. I do like the lily pad at the bottom in the bottom left hand corner that's got some texture in it with all the ripples around the edge of the lily pad there so it, well done for, for seeing that and making it into um, an, an old master well done. Another Monet, Poplars on the Edge. Um, again, I'm not familiar with the, the original, but but I really like the the retake. Um, as very much like a cyanotype, isn't it? And um, just the two colours, the, the, the orangey yellows and that stark blue sky with the um, with the stark white trunks. It's um, yeah, almost negative, isn't it? Well, it, it may well be a negative, um, a infrared, um, infrared reversed into a negative. However it was done, again, don't care. I really like it. And I will look up the original, I think, um, just out of interest when we're finished. 
Um, it is one of those pictures, and I think the more you look at it, the, the, the more you see in it. I love the tracery of the of the smaller branches, and you can look into it, and and the, the more you look in, the more of this tracery of the, the smaller branches you see. The image is held in on the left hand side by the bushes, and again on the on the right hand side by a smaller bush, but uh, the tree going up as well. So yeah, that's. Um, I'm intrigued to see what the original is like, but I do like the retake. Yeah, another lovely still life here. Um, again, a very popular subject with old masters. Um, I don't know if it's um, after any sort of painting in particular, or it's just a, a, um, a retake of what you've done. In actual, I, I was going to say all the, the chrysanthemums are rather bright, but when your eye adjusts to the picture, they, they do tone right down and um, you've got some lovely detail in there. Again, I like the textured foreground and um, background. I think that works really well. The background being slightly out of focus in comparison with the foreground and the, and the subject. Um, the vase is almost pearlescent from what I can see. So yeah, I, again, if it, if it is after a, a particular painting, you'll have to let me know at the end because I'd like to look it up. It's at times like this, I wish I'd paid more attention in school, um, to, in the art lessons instead of messing about. But ha having said that, I did leave school with a 25 yard swimming certificate, so I didn't do too bad. <laughs> Autumn pot now, with apologies to our Convoldo. All right, well, I'll have to look this one up if you've apologised to him. Um, but yeah, this is um, this is uh, quite a quite a complex um, still life, isn't it? There's a lot going on here. Grapes, um, looks like garlic cloves. Um, is that a coconut? It's based on or a, a good? I don't know. But whatever, it, 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 it's all held together very well. Uh, very Halloweenish, to be honest. Um, I do like the um, key line, uh, the, the broken textured key line, I might add. I think that does add something to the picture, especially as it's picked out in one of the oranges. Uh, and, and it is pretty essential because what you've done is you have a very, very dark background and um, and and the edges, so you need that to come in. Um, it's extremely sharp and well lit where it needs to be. Again, I'm not familiar with the original. Um, um, perhaps the original isn't too like this if you've had to apologise, but it's got a, a, it's got an appeal to it, and it's certainly something which old masters would have painted. Modern Matisse. Yes, uh, this is one. I, I, I like modern art as well as old masters, and I'm liking this one. It, it's very, very simple. Um, 
But how you've done it, I have no idea at all. Whether it's a, a mannequin you've uh, photographed or whether you have created some artwork out of um, paper laid onto a, uh, a canvas or a paper background, I don't know. But it has uh, some appeal. And it's certainly after Matisse, so um, all credit to you. I like the, the, the very sort of pale pale pinkish background you've got it on with this white border. Uh, as I say, very simplistic. It's, it's almost like a silhouette, um, just, just the two colours. And if you've created this yourself out of bits of paper, cut up and stuck on a board or laid on a board while you've re-photographed it. Well done. I think it really works. by night yeah i was intrigued by this one because th th this is another van gogh and um i you know you know the original this i, I don't know what i don't know what this is seems to be is it needle point or a tapestry or something um that, that's um you've done um or, or that, I, well whether you might have done it especially for this competition i don't know and then photographed it but um, I don't know. I'm intrigued. I shall have to ask the author when it's done. But um, yes, it is. It is an old master, and it's been recreated in in what I think is either needlepoint or, or or tapestry or or something like that. It seems to have this um, pixelated, very square edged um, elements to the whole thing, but very effective and very true to the original work. Yeah, I, I, I like this one as well. Um, Edvard Munch, I think the author was. And um, again, yes, very, very true to the original. Um, it seems to be like a little statuette that um, you've found, you have, um, but you photographed it very well. Um, the, the, the lighting's good. It, it it looks as if the figure the little glass figurine is is, is screaming. So uh, yeah, I, I think it's just been very well done. I don't know got, whether it's a mirror in the background and it's it, it, and you've got the back of the head as well. I don't know. Uh, it doesn't detract, but um, I like the lighting on this as well. So if if you've been wandering around uh, uh, an art exhibition and you've seen this and photographed it, well done, um, because it, it does everything it says on the tin. We we know who it is, uh, we know what the painting is, and we know who it's by. And uh, so the more you look at it, and in fact in fact the, the more texture you begin to see in this, well, I'm a, I'm assuming it's a glass figurine. Um, I, I, you can correct me if I'm wrong, but uh, yeah, well done. Of course, it's not going to be silly. After Van Eyck. Yes, um, another still life. And this is this is more like the still lifes that I, I, I was possibly expecting to see. Um, I, I, I'm liking this one perhaps a little more than, than the other ones, um, simply because you, you've got more elements in it. I, I do like the lighting. Um, you've, you've got the... Um, 
the velvet or velveteen brown back cloth, um, which does always add to it. You've got the um, the cheese board and the apples and the tomatoes and the wine glass. And also uh, something I like, whether it was intentional or whether it was just an accident, is the glass and almost all of it isn't quite sharp. The handle is here. That's, that's probably about the sharpest bit, but I'm not criticising that. Um, I, I think to have this element of softness does make it look like a painting. Um, because you remember, look at paintings, nothing is really, really sharp. There are some painters, like Canaletti is one of them who does really pin sharp paintings, but most of them are obviously done with brush marks and they're not sharp. Um, so yeah, you have this element in it of softness. Um, I'm not so keen on the, um, key line I think it's a little heavy uh, it looks like you've got a double key line to me and it's looking more like a frame but perhaps that was your intention um, if it is well I, I I will accept it as it is but I find it a little heavy and and would like to, like it to have been a bit thinner just a hint uh, of, of a key line but that said very well done What nice. Yeah, I, 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 I know this young, well, I don't know this young lady, but I know of her. I've, I've tried to, photo, well, I have photographed her myself uh, over at Kentwell Hall, I believe. Um, and I, I wasn't as successful as this. Um, so uh, well done to you. I, I do like the effect, to be honest. I don't think it's been overdone. Um, you've either let loose with the liquefy tool or you've had some sort of oil painting um, filter applied, but it's been done very subtly and, and, and I think it, it's really enhanced the picture. I like the nice vignette around it as well, which brings brings your attention straight into the main focus of the subject which is the mother and child so the lighting's lovely uh, if, from what i can remember if if this is the same lady at kemp that's at kempwell hall or has been at kempwell hall or other reenactments then if it's kempwell hall she they're, they're always very very dark places that they sit in um because they're trying to recreate the atmosphere as well. So I think you've done extremely well, uh, if this is the case, to, to, to get a picture at all and uh, with, with nice lighting. So, um, yeah, well done for that. That was our last image. Oh, well and done, everybody. Be before we carry on, I think everyone did amazingly well because it was a really difficult topic. So well done to everyone who took part. Fantastic images. Yeah, I, I, I thought that was good. There was some, some really creative work there and uh, well done again. So do we want to go have a look through them when, when uh, we can? How many have we got that have actually made the grade? Quite a few, I should think. <coughs> I hope that was okay, Brian. My idea was seven, that it was interactive. Sorry? I think it was seven. Seven, oh, that's perfect. That's perfect. I might be wrong. That's Bob perfect. Has. Sophie with a pearl earring. The fourth pearl. Stag in Turner-esque light. 
undiscovered Picasso, Lady of the Mask, and Modern Matisse. And I should be able to there we go. Um, oh, would would people would people like to unmute now and we can we can have a discussion about the, the pictures? <laughs> As a matter of interest, I've got, the poll, I've got the poll in front of me here, Susan. I can't see much. I'm not sure. Uh, All right. I'm oh, well, sure whoever's doing the poll, hit, I've got the poll in front of me. Uh, the the poll is off. I think you have to hit a closed at the top of your screen. It's not. It's not coming from me. It's. Uh, I'm showing the light box. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's gone. It's gone. It's gone. You should be able to see all images with with names. Okay. Brian, oh, Brian, yours was the, was the Van Gogh. Yeah, it really looks like a Van Gogh. Well done. Yeah, I like Thank that. you. Yeah, it's mm, brilliant. I found the liquefier tool. <laughs> <laughs> well, it works. It really works. And the colours are just Van Gogh. I mean, he used that yellow a lot in his paintings. He did, yeah. Yeah, yeah really, really, really like that one. Well done. Yeah, that'd well, be fun. You've got all the images here. Sorry, I, I just um, thought it was going to be the ones that her uh, had... Oh, but we now we we want to have a look at all of them anyway. Yeah. So we, okay. Yeah. Just uh, uh, Brian, the um, your girl with a pearl earring. Um, the only yeah. thing I would say, the only thing I would say about that, because I know that you've taken the uh, the effect off of the eyes and the uh, left hand side of her face, but I think you've left there's some on her cheek, and the original yes. her her her, yeah. her skin is absolutely smooth, and I think um, that I I thought it was a brilliant picture and a a brilliant rendering of that that image it was one that mm. i sort of was thinking of trying myself but um but yeah i think if the effect was off of the cheek that faces you as well i think that would yeah i can have a look at that again I, 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 I thought with the idea of how much to take off because i, I did want that yeah. painterly look but you're right that the original is actually the only thing that's on her skin on the original is paint cracks that, that that's yeah. all and, and i yeah. didn't want to recreate those so yes, um, Sophie works down the lion. She's a lovely girl, one of our waitresses. Uh, cost me a, well, cost me a set of earrings, though. <laughs> <laughs> so the fourth Earl, Derek. Yes. Who, whose painting was that? No idea. But every time you go around an old house and get a guided tour, they always say, "This is a picture of the fourth Earl." <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's the most <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, there's actually quite a few um uh portraits of fourth earls um the only thing i would say is i couldn't find a single one of them with a hat on uh, but <laughs> other than that that's actually really close to this there's a whole bunch of them by different artists of the fourth earl i just had to look them up on google and yeah the only thing there wasn't there wasn't one with a hat on but uh, apart from that it actually is quite, quite close to some of them uh, Steve, your your one after Gordon Costa. I, I'm not familiar with it, but was did, did was that a, a painting or a photograph in negative positive? Yes, a photograph. He did quite a few like it, and um, he's kind of in the. Um, he was he was very in the vogue at the uh, early on in the 20th century. So he did a lot of these, and this is a an attempt to pretty well copy exactly uh, one of his most famous works and um, using my lovely Julie as the model. But yes, uh, if, you, I, if you look it up, <laughs> if you look up, if you look him up and you look at his pictures, you'll see, you'll see what it's about. Yeah, I will. I, I will. There's a couple I'm going to look up, to be honest, um, after this. But uh, yeah, it's got a, a surreal look about it, hasn't it? Yeah. Bit of a man Ray look about it. Exactly. Yeah, what I thought was yeah. interesting was the blue lady, the Matisse. Oh, I was going to ask Rosie about the the um, poor Ophelia first, as before it goes down. That's <laughs> M Millet, isn't it? Yes, that is Millet. Yeah, I thought um, it was Millet. We, I did have to buy a doll, a, a frozen doll. I think I think her name was Ella, and we had. Anyway, she was drowned in our small garden pond and <laughs> 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 oh. 
like to I'm, I might, I might add. I really the, like the Picasso too. Well done, Andrew. Oh, thank you. Um, it's very effective. Going back to Ophelia, um, she she's from the film Frozen. Uh, we didn't actually put her in the freezer. We did put her in the pond. Though. <laughs> ah. Anyway, I, I interrupted Keith. I'm sorry about that. Sorry. No, I was just going to co comment uh, on one occasion, someone very kindly bought me, uh, from the, I think it was the uh, Tate, the book on Matisse. He actually did 78 Blue Ladies, mm. and they were all paper cutouts that were then just laid on uh, a, a white sheet. I don't immediately recognise that one, so uh, I don't think it's I don't think it's an original, but it's a very good likeness of uh, that particular style. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yes, that's exactly what I did. I cut out the bits of blue paper and chucked them on a bit of card and manipulated them and stretched them and cut them out again and swore about it. And that's my version of Matisse. Yeah, it's very good. It's very well, well done, Rosie. That is very well done. Good. That's Brilliant. Very creative and very effective, Rosie. Yeah. Well done. Thank you. The poplars are very good too. I like those. Yes. Yeah, I like them. Mm. They're all pretty good. Yeah. How was yeah, that done, like Susan? A, um, in Lightroom, just playing around with um, sort of, it was, I think I, because I'm not very good with manipulating stuff, so it was um, an artistic effect. And just playing around with the sliders, basically. All right, yeah, I did like that. The only thing I couldn't get because at, oh, at the bottom of the original, um, the color, the color blue is is just just on, but it it obviously did have some blue at the bottom where we're, where it was on, on a river, but obviously mine on. <laughs> but uh, these are, these are the row of poplar trees that somebody thought was contrived when I did the shadows. <laughs> It's, it is very like, I mean, there's, um, I, I did look up um, the poplars, there's loads of uh, Monet poplars art, um, but there is one or two that look really quite like this. I think you've got the colouring, coloration, just right, actually. It's yeah, really good. It ages. I think one of the things that helped it was that it was um, sort of very early spring, so there were very few leaves on, so getting that sort of tracery with the, um, with the branches, um, seem to work and the and the water lilies just to take say Brian um that is steam in Kew Gardens <laughs> oh, <laughs> giving, right. give, giving that effect yeah, yeah, I did play yeah, around yeah. with it but um uh, yeah the, it was a, a sort of steam created the, the softness to it <laughs> oh that's, that's brilliant did you did you see the little leaf in, in the yeah. corner there yes yeah. It's hard on the edge, isn't it, to clone? Yeah. Um, I did think about it and then I kicked myself for not doing it. <laughs> it's a really nice picture. Mm -hmm. So, Andrew, Hello. Lady, of the, Lady of the Mask. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, how, how, was that, uh, how was that created? Um. Uh, some months ago, or some weeks ago anyway, we were at some sort of boot fair type thing, um, and uh, I photographed a lady with a mask on, but uh, I, I have then put that onto a Rubens original. I thought it was original. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's really good. It's, it's, it uh, works really well. <laughs> it's of the, it's of the time. That's the thing. Mm. Yeah. Any other year, it might not have worked, but this year. No. It's, uh... <laughs> and Jill, your cafe by night that does yeah. look like a needle point of some. Well, I, I, yes, it is. I years ago when Jerry and I first moved in together, it was his favourite painting. So I I haven't done one for all, but I used to do a lot of embroidery, I, and he. I bought a poster of it and I designed it myself and stitched it myself. And yeah, I just took a picture of it and played around with it in Photoshop. So yeah, it's my artwork, but it's my artwork from many years ago. <laughs> well done. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
It's lovely that I, I'd like that on my wall. <laughs> it's on my wall. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yours was a scream as well, Jill. Yeah, that was Is taken that... in a shop window in Venice. Oh, right. Yeah. And I played around with it a lot in Photoshop to get rid of all the detritus that was around it and behind it. Oh, well, you've done well. <laughs> Steve, the um, after Van Eyck, I, I think that was a, that's a really, really good picture, actually. Um, I do. I, I'm surprised it, it didn't get mm. a better score. It's, uh, yes, um, I agree. Because it had... Uh, the thing with with um, still lives generally is they had symbolism, um, and so often you see a still life and it's sort of just stuff put together in some sort of random way. But this this isn't, and I think it, it really does have a, a feeling that there is some symbolism in there, whatever it is. I don't know, but it nonetheless it has a feel for that, which is exactly what the um, the originals were were like. So yeah, I think it's a really really good effort. That mm. having the red wine in the glass makes it. Yeah, yeah. Very abstemious. <laughs> I'd have just um, very slightly sorted out the vertical on the glass. It just looks on the, a bit on the one. But it's really nice. Tell that from the <clears throat> small one. I like the effect on the wetness. The, the... I... I, I like the effect for me. I think it's just a little too strong. Yeah. I, I, Derek, how, how did you how did you get that, Derek? Uh, the effect is just a Photoshop filter. Right. I, I'm, if, if it had been me, I'd have turned the opacity down just a little bit because the effect was taking over the the impact of the picture when I was looking at. Perhaps it's just on my screen here, but it was it was kind of like overshadowing the actual picture. So it, yeah, just, it did look strong it, here as well yeah. on my TV. So. The, it, um, it's a great picture apart from that. The Autumn Pop Man, uh, Lorraine, who, who was that? With apologies to? <laughs> Arkin Baldo. He was the guy who used to do the uh, paintings of uh, people made out of fruits and Eight vegetables. Thousands. Oh, right. I, I would have done something slightly more serious, but I bought this blooming pumpkin and then I didn't... <laughs> I thought, but I'm jolly well going to use it then. <laughs> <laughs> I, think it, I think it's wonderful. I love I it. It's great. I love it. I love the key line. It's really nice. Oh. I, think, I actually it's think it's really, it's really inventive. I love it. <laughs> and Jan, your chrysanthemums, who's, was that based on a particular painting? Uh, no. <laughs> I think <laughs> I completely, mis I completely misinterpreted what we were doing and I just did my own thing. That's fine. I think it's lovely. I think mm. it's a lovely picture. It is, yes. It was a difficult subject, but I think they're all really good. Yeah, I think it, everyone's done amazingly well. Yeah, I struggled yeah, big time with this one. <laughs> yeah, I think we, yeah, I think everybody struggled with it. I think it's, yeah, some people have. It's half and half how we've interpreted it, isn't it? Yeah. But that's fine. That's okay. Isn't it?